Being mad is a waste. Yes, Tosh. Well, getting mad is human. That's normal. We're going to get angry. Being mad, that means you sustain your mad, you sustain your anger. That is an indulgence. Neville Goddard says, never indulge your lower vibrational thoughts, your lower vibrational energies or reactions. Never do it because you're signaling. You're still signaling. You can get angry, but immediately, as soon as you become aware, get out of the anger, get into the introspection, find the blessing and keep it moving. Get back to signaling gratitude or signaling joy. That's why the Bible says in your anger, do not sin. It doesn't say don't be angry. Heck, Jesus was tossing tables over in the temple. He was angry. Jesus told Peter, get thee behind me, devil. He was angry. But in your anger, don't sin. And that means don't prolong it. Don't create something out of it. Don't start spiraling down into the anger because now you're just creating more of it for yourself. We have to be so aware of the fact that we are the creators of our lives. Unfortunately for so many of us, we grew up and came up through such trauma, such trauma and abuse. I mean, I hear from, I hear from a lot of people, but more people than not have a story about their childhood and how it affected them. And you know, when we're children, we don't control the circumstance. We're like little sponges. In fact, did you know from the ages of zero to six, we are literally in the hypnagogic state. It's like a state of hypnosis. All we're doing is absorbing, absorbing, absorbing. Well, how many of us as children at that time come from dysfunctional families, alcoholic families, narcissist families, abusive families, so many of us. And so we enter into our adulthood with this pattern and this patterning that we then have to bring the light into and bring into alignment so that we can start signaling in accordance to what we truly want to create for ourselves. And a lot of us, because of how we grew up, we do get angry. When I was in my 20s, <laughs> oh my God. I had a rage disorder when I was in my early 20s. I was out of control because I had so much inside of me that was puppeting me. And now all these years later, you know, I still have reactions and I still get angry to things, but I've learned that I can't indulge that because if I do, I undo the blessing that I've created for myself. I, I've, un, I've undone the work that I've done for myself, but it can be difficult when we have the patterning still in us, which is why anybody who wants to have a more spiritually dynamic life Anybody who wants to manifest better for themselves has to deal with their stuff because it's signaling your energetic stuff, your psychology. This is a pattern of energy that exists inside of you. And if it's gunky, if it's icky, imagine it looking kind of like a Brillo pad and it's housed inside of you, Brillo pad atop, Brillo pad atop, Brillo pad, like that little cloud of energy above pig pen from the Snoopy comics. Some of us have just all of this gunk inside of us and it's signaling, it's alive within us. It's puppeting us to some degree. And so we have to bring the light into that. We cannot indulge it. And reactions are cool. Why? Because reactions point to the Brillo pad. I'm getting really pissed at that girl who's looking at my guy, but why? Oh, I'm insecure. Why? Oh, I don't really feel good about myself. Why? Well, my father told me for 10 years that I was ugly, that I was worthless. Okay, now I get it. Now I understand what the Brillo pad is. Now let me bring the light into the Brillo pad. How do you do that? Well, you figure out what the truth is. Because the Brillo pad, if it's low vibrational and gunky, and if it's weighing you down, I promise you the Brillo pad has its roots in a lie. It's got its roots in a lie. And so if I'm insecure because my father has told me for 10 years that I'm ugly and I'm not worth it, what's the truth? Because that's the lie that's causing the pattern. Where's the light? The truth is the light. The truth is I was created by the eternal creator in perfection with intention. The truth is 
I am lovely. I am beautiful. I am fully supported. I am magical. These are all the truths about me. And so I start aligning to that. See, that's why reactions are cool because it gets us to the Brillo pad. Now we know where we have to bring in the light. Now we can identify the truth and now we can align to the truth and we get out of the shadow. Shadow work is so powerful. Shadow work is incredibly integral to spiritual advancement and connection. But shadow work is very sticky at the same time. Because I could spend a lot of time in that one Brillo pad. I could think about a lot of instances where my father really shamed me and put me down and I can start getting stuck there. And I can start feeling sad about that and I can start spiraling down. So shadow work, super sticky. All we really need to do is have the awareness of what the pattern is. And then identify the lie, the falsehood, the untruth, and then bring the truth into that and align to that and affirm that and validate that and arrange our life in such a way that that truth is always validated for us. That's how we free ourselves from these inner patterns. Alternatively, and thank you for staying with me, because let me tell you something, we're dealing in some truths here. It's pretty cool. Alternatively, instead of going through, some of us have 1 million Brillo pads, right? Me, for example, 1 million Brillo pads. And whenever I'm in reaction, I'm like, oh, here we go. I got to bring some light and I got more work to do. It feels like a lot of work for some of us. However, there is a faster way to bring light into all the dark spaces and to clear it out. And that is through high vibration lifestyle, high vibration lifestyle. Putting yourself intentionally in high vibration scenarios that saturate you with divine energy. Because the signature of that divine energy, the frequency of that energy is so much higher than the lower vibrational Brillo pad density energy, it automatically clears it out. It automatically clears it out. It's called refinement by fire. The fire burns it away and purifies the vessel. All we have to do is intentionally be in high vibration. Well, how do you do that? Well, what makes you happy? What makes you joyful? What makes you laugh? What makes you play? What makes you feel grateful? Do that. Do that more. This is called the bliss discipline. Somebody just called it the bliss, the, the bliss discipline <laughs> the other day. I'm like, that's fantastic. The bliss discipline. Figure out what lights you up. Figure out what fills you with joy. Figure out what fills you with love and do that more as a discipline. Do it every single day. Putting yourself intentionally in high vibration spaces, places around high vibration people, eating high vibration foods, drinking high vibration saturation, which is usually just water. Sorry, water and lemon. It's got to be clean water. But intentionally putting yourself in those spaces, that light, the light of that vibration clears out those Brillo pads. Boom, boom, boom. And soon you don't even have to worry about it because the vessel itself has been purified. So there's shadow work, which can sometimes for people like me feel like slogging through endless Brillo pads. And then there's purification. And let me tell you something, purification feels a lot better. Hanging out and rolling around with my great Danes in my yard on Gaia's green grass, hugging my oak trees, that feels a lot better. Loving my husband feels a lot better. Connecting with the portal in my heart feels a lot better than slogging through the psychology of it. But both work both work and to conclude in your anger do not sin <laughs> don't stay in the bad feeling help me continue to create ad free spiritual content by supporting me on patreon depending on the tier selected you can receive one free lesson a month or access to a live zoom meetup where members receive intuitive readings attunements and more every dollar really does help now on to the video